done some shopping since my last haul, which was a little over a month. Well, besides, okay, besides the home decor haul and the school supply haul, my last clothing haul is what I was trying to say, and I just made myself sound like a very intense shopaholic. And you guys told me in my last haul that you like long collective hauls a lot better than shorter ones, so I'm giving you what you want. So go get your popcorn, um, because we're gonna be here for a little bit. <laughs> if you're excited, Tell me in the comments. Okay, so let's just dive right into all of this. I think I'm gonna start with daily look because I can get rid of this box first. Ugh. Hold on, we gotta move some of this because there's no way it's all gonna fit. Okay, first thing that I got from here, and this is the whole reason why I placed an order in the first place, is for this dress. So it looks like this, and it has a really pretty flower crochet pattern on it, which I like, and I thought this was so springish, and I'm not ready for spring quite yet. Like, clothing-wise, I'm still really liking winter trends and stuff. However, when I saw this, I, it got me really excited for spring. I am loving stuff like this, so don't be surprised if you see a spring haul coming in the nearish future. So, I got this oversized navy sweater, which looks like this. Now, as you can see, it's pretty thin, which I like because it's perfect for here in California because it doesn't get that cold, so this is perfect for spring. And as you can tell, I've really been liking navy recently. And I believe this was only like 20-something dollars, if you're wondering. Um, and then the last Last thing that I got from Daily Look are some shoes because you can never have too many shoes. I have been meaning to buy a pair of these shoes for the longest time because I always need them, but I never want to buy them. Do you feel me on that? So I finally bought some plain black heels. So, so simple. I don't know why it's taken me this long. There's been so many times where I need shoes like this to wear, but I don't have any. But then I don't want to buy them because I feel like I'll never wear them enough. But then, of course, there's always cases where I wish I had them. So I finally just bought them, and they were only $30. Okay, so I think I'm going to do Nordstrom next just because I have, I don't know, why not, right? So the first thing is this shirt that I'm wearing. I haven't been this excited about a shirt in a really long time. Like, when I was shopping, I saw it. It was love at first sight. It's just this navy high neck top, which I thought was so pretty. This was kind of expensive for me. It was like $40 for a top, but I thought it was really, really pretty, and I love the like lace detailing here. And then I also got this dress, again with the whole navy trend going on right now. Can you tell I'm really liking this color? This was $48. It's this really pretty navy dress, and it has black lace detailing on the front, and also the back. Like the whole back is pretty much all laced out, which is super cute, and even here on the sides a little bit. I actually have a couple family things coming up where I need to dress up so that's why I was like hey I need a dress for the future I might as well get it and I can totally see me wearing it different places so that's why I got that and then I found this shirt on clearance which I was really excited about I am the first person to say I will shop in clearance racks like no other like it's my favorite I feel like you can find the best stuff there it was normally $38 and I got it for $18 which is super exciting and it's this cream lace um, just plain shirt, which I thought was really cute, and it's, but I don't know, I just really like the little details like this. I also got this top, which is another one of those like throw-on shirts that are super casual and comfy, and this is honestly so soft, I love it. This one was $20, it's just a gray cropped t-shirt. But I thought it'd be super cute to wear it like off the shoulder with my black American Eagle jeggings and like my Steve Madden booties. Seriously, so comfy! That reminded me of Despicable Me where it's like, it's so fluffy! <laughs> I love that movie. I want to watch it now. And I got this shirt from TJ Maxx yesterday, and I saw, no, two days ago, and it was $15. It's super cute. As you guys can see, I've been loving, like, the high neck shirts like this, and it's just this cute little cream crop top. The back looks like this, which is super cute, and yeah, I just, I thought this was such a good deal. If this was at Nordstrom, it would probably be around $30, $35, $40, like, honestly, something like this. So $15, holla. Speaking of deals, can we just talk? about the Urban Outfitters sales that have been going on recently because... Because, yeah, I'm about to show you the deals that I found because they were really good. Okay, and keep in mind that everything from Urban Outfitters is honestly between like four or five shopping trips. I didn't buy all of this at once. I want to say this was normally $70 or $80 and I got it for $30, which was super cute. It's just one of those classic pieces that you can totally dress up or down and, yeah, you just... It was calling my name, okay? <laughs> and then I got this sweater, which honestly is just like a huge blanket, which is amazing. This one was normally $80, and I'm pretty sure that I got it for $40, I want to say. So half off, 50% off, which is pretty good. And it's just this huge, huge sweater, which is super comfy. I almost bought this full price, which would have been $70. $69. $70 for a top. Like two days later, I went shopping with a friend, and we found this. For 
$20! Oh my goodness! It's this adorable sequin beaded crop top, which is just... Oh, you guys. Mm, you guys. These two things actually weren't on sale, um, but this one was $50. It's this really pretty, like, salt and peppered colored crop sweater, which I thought was cute. I thought this would be really cute paired with, like, spring or summer skirts. You know what I mean? I can wear this. That's like really casual, but then wear it with um, a cute like skater skirt or something like underneath. I've been needing a new plain white t-shirt like this, and this one was $34. It's super soft, by the way, and it's just a plain white v-neck shirt, and it has a little pocket on the side. I absolutely love little stupid stuff like that. Like if there's a pocket anywhere, I'm just like, oh my gosh. I have to have you. Okay, last Urban Outfitters bag. So I found another sweater similar to the gray one that I just showed, um, and it looks like this. I got this in the sales section for $10. $10, can we talk about that for a second? And it's just this dark gray sweater, and I like the fact that I can wear it off the shoulder if I want, because that's one of my favorite ways to style tops, so like wearing it off the shoulder and stuff. $10, it was originally $40. My heart is happy, that's all I have to say. I got some socks because I lost one of my thigh-high socks. Like, I have one, but I can't find the other one anywhere. I think it got lost while we were moving, because I haven't seen it since then. So I just got some new black ones, and I got the ones with the little buttons that everyone has, because I thought they were cute. And then I got just some oatmeal over-the-knee colored socks. So, yeah, I got those. Next, I got some bralettes, and I'm actually really excited about two of these, because I got them for $5 on clearance. They're normally $25, and I've actually paid, like, I pay that for the normal ones because they're really nice. This is a really pretty maroon one, and then it has um, some flower detailing and cream, which I thought was so cute. And then I got this black and gold one, which looks like that, and again, both of these were only $5. Still can't get over that. And then the last one that I got, sadly, it wasn't $5. I actually paid full price for this, um, but it's just this plain white lacy bralette. But I do like how this one's thicker. It has thicker straps up here and also down here, so yeah, I got that. And then the last thing that I got from Urban Outfitters are these shoes. Normally $70, and I got them on sale for $30. What? What? Ah! I freaking love sales. Oh my gosh. I got those, which is super exciting. Okay, so the last place that I went to was Brandy Melville because uh, I still had like a $20 gift card, and I figured why not spend it, and I couldn't decide for the longest time. One thing I will always love about this store is the fact that their clothes are so unbelievably soft. Softest clothes I've literally ever felt. And this shirt was $21, but it's just one of those plain t-shirts that I will live in, and I will wear it so many times. But yeah, so I got that, which like I've said, I'm gonna wear it a lot. If you stayed to the very end thumbs it up right now and tell me in the comments because I will try to comment back to every single one of you who stayed the entire time props to you but don't forget to look in the down bar for all the links to daily look and Nordstrom and I don't know I'm gonna try to find everything that I show in this haul and put it in the down bar for you guys so you can see that and yeah I guess I will see you guys in my next video which is coming up super soon and yeah, see you guys later bye Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you my February 